Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I am your host, Andrew Reader Lorraine, and guys, I am here to conduct your energy reading. This is going to be um, either for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. It is timeless. It's all about the energy, not about the gender or the star sign. And it, as I said, it's timeless, but please do type what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is more going to be concerning your soul um sort of like what's going on in the 5d rather than what's happening in the 5d um so if you are all about sort of like you're doing your soul searching or anything like that um then this reading is going to be more for you it's not as i said it's not really about the 3d um because i feel for some of you guys you're really wanting to tap into trying to get in touch with the higher selves your higher spirits guides as well okay so for this reason, I'm using the Work Light Oracle cards with the Star Child and the Moon Child Tarot decks, okay? I always find that I get a very good reading with them um, if it's to do with your um, either um, someone that you're sort of like wanting to inquire about or, you know, if this is to do with yourself, okay? So without further ado, let's get stuck into this reading. Please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so and don't forget as well guys to hit that notification bell below the screen so that you can be informed by email once i've actually uploaded new content for you guys let's start off with your work your light oracle cards so i'm going to pull two cards so the first card we've got is answer the call what is your soul calling you to do so as i said it's really about you know this is why i love these decks because it's really you know this soul energy kind of reading is definitely you know these cards really do pack a punch you know they really really do the next card i've got is this crumbling what you cling on to right guys do you see what's going on here do you see what's going on here you are about to leave something that has had you in a it's like in a in a cesspool in a cest pit in a an illusion in a dream for most of your life this to me feels like this is the tower card major arcana of the tower card where things are starting to crumble down around you life as you have known it for most of your life is changing okay um and you really need to start answering the call you need to start honing in on your intuition and trusting your instincts this is why i said this is a real kind of soul energy reading what are you doing okay during this lockdown period this is the perfect time for you to start answering the call and answering questions that you have been you know wanting to ask yourself for years but it's always been that you've always been busy or you've had someone sort of like distract you so you've never really had a chance to sort of like really spend time for you okay so this really is about taking action guys it really really is so this i'm just going to pop those there okay um and now we're going to get stuck in with the tarot mm. gonna start with the moon child first okay um I do love these decks. They really, as I said, they really do speak volumes. Let's kind of see what energies that we're going to get from this. As you leave one part of your life behind, you are leaving behind people who don't want to, they don't understand you, but it's also leaving a, a sour taste it's leaving a bitter taste so but i'm just t to say you you keep going okay please do keep going the first card we've got is two of wands the decision really you know that is yours to make you know that you have to make that move i do feel that you have chosen your your option already okay so you it, this is also about traveling overseas by the way for some of you you've you've honed in on what it is that you want to do there's no holding you back there's no holding you back you've got the universe and it's funny how they just it fell on on top of the two of wands and behind this as well you've got the four of swords 
you have been in so much of a meditative energy remember this is answer the call as well this has been you really and truly um and this is affecting your 3d self okay so you've got the two of wands you've got the universe answer the call and the four of swords this has literally been you what to do you know the it's you know the judgment everything has been your um epiphany okay it has been a real test of time okay you're waking up your soul not just you you're waking up your soul or your soul is rather waking you up it's calling you out okay so really despite the fact as much as you would have wanted to move forward you couldn't because the universe has got you in this four of swords energy and it's there for a reason and I feel that what it's done is made you choose to make the right choice. I need to focus on my inner being, my inner peace, and find out where I belong in this world. What am I to do? What, what's my purpose? Okay, so there's been lots of, really, really lots of questions going in deep. The next card I've got for you is the Six of Swords. So you know really and truly when it's time to start moving on. I feel the universe really is trying to... Um, guide you here you're really being guided and this energy of the crumbling tower as well the crumbling what you cling on to it could be old memories grudges of people that really and truly you need to step away from okay but now is the time to do it the next card you've got is the moon card so again unearthing um plenty about you whether you like it or not this is actually happening this is out of your control you need to be able to step up and, and focus a lot more. See where this is taking you. Know that you are definitely on the right path. You've got the two of cups. This, to me, feels that you are joining yourself up. So this is like the feminine and the masculine energies becoming one. Having that kind of balance, the equilibrium. I see this here with the two of wands being balanced out, emotionally balanced now, wanting to take action, moving forward now. Um, this could be to do with a hidden, you know, a, a revealing of a person as well. But I more see this as your your energies, okay? And the eight of cups is about walking away, walking away from things that are just just been really painful and now is the time to kind of to hone in on that definitely the bottom of the deck is temperance you've had a lot of healing you've had that energy of um being able to have that r and r the rest and retreat um go deep within yourself as much as you really wanted to hold on two i feel that this two of cups as well okay um it wasn't really doing you any justice it really wasn't and i feel that there was a lot of secrets that was going on between the full the, like the full moon especially um with the two of cups which then once you found out what it was it it led you away but i don't feel that you was really majorly upset i feel that you were slightly relieved okay you were slightly relieved let's Kind of open up this reading and see what else we can get from here. Mm. I can tell that you really wanted to have some kind of balance with somebody. I, I see that in the moon card as well, as with the two of cups and the two of wands. This is definitely about partnership. You wanted to have that, you know, that give and take, but somehow, you know, it just was about you walking away what's going on here okay spirit what can you tell me about the two of wands what's the two of wands about nine of cups so i wish fulfillment really wishing and hoping that this was going to be completing you i also see this as an ending of a cycle as well that was coming to an end um, for some of you, this would have been about having a little bit too much to drink. Um, 
I'm hearing in the daytime as well, um, you might sort of like, as as I'm hearing that, you, you might want to curb back on your daytime drinking um, because sometimes this can kind of cloud your vision and prevent you from seeing the way forward, okay? So, um, you know, but this is also to do with really wishing on that star, wishing for things to really come into some form of tuition, um, fruition, not tuition. Um, we've got the Queen of Crystals. So, for some of you guys, this is about your independence. This is about the stability that you're trying to conjure up and achieve for yourself. For yourself. I don't see this as being anybody else. Okay. Um, you know, I feel that this is what it's trying to tell you, whether you see this or not. Um, but this is what it's saying. I've got two cards that I've had to take. The Ten of Wands. And beneath that, I've got um, the Hierophant. So, to be fair and to be honest, I do feel that what you was trying to hold on to, which was this Hierophant, in the end, it was becoming a bit too much. You know, it was becoming a bit too much. And I feel that you needed to value what you had and what you still have within you. To give this to somebody is just not the right thing. I mean, you've got the Six of Swords, so this is about moving away. And the reasons why you moved away was because of this burdensome commitment. It was just not really working out in the best way for you, okay? But the Moon card as well, there was a lot of secrets that were being hidden and revealed. Um, you've got the Ace of Crystals, which is here, but another card wants to pop out as well. You've got the Star Seed. So... What you've discovered is about a, a massive new beginning. You've got the Ace of Crystals or the Ace of Pentacles, and this would be um, the full card. So this is about starting again. What you're walking away from, and that is hidden within yourself, is your new beginning. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. Really about opening up the Heart Chakra. I've got two cards that wants to come out. Um, oh yeah, sorry guys. Um, yep, I've got the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is the hidden, and then we've got the Eight of Cups again. So it seems to me as if this has been something that you need to walk away from. It wasn't really fulfilling enough for you. The Eight of Cups. Many of you would have felt unsettled and disappointed with this Four of Wands energy. It wasn't really what you wanted. Um, but the fact is, is that it's, I do feel that it just wasn't meant to be for you right about now. And the Eight of Cups has the Chariot card. So you really was moving away fast. I feel that the universe was leading you out from this energy. Because I do feel that with um, the Two of Cups... This relationship, this situation that you would have been in with somebody, it just wasn't meant to be right now. As much as you would have wanted the Four of Wands and you would have seen that sort of like, you know, count, divine counterpart energy, um, it's you still end up walking away and, you know, you, you're moving on really quick. The bottom of the deck is transformation. Yeah, transformation. This is the death card, by the way. So, yeah, as I said before, this is definitely something that um, what I'm getting from the universe is that this two of ones, this partnership that you would have had with somebody, um, it had to be put on hold whilst you was transforming. Um, and this is at, this is where it's at, at the moment. This is the stage where you're at, which is the transformation stage. You're not going anywhere anytime now towards anybody else um, because this is definitely about wish fulfillment and also the fulfillment that you've got within yourself as well. And um, unfortunately, well, it's not really unfortunately because it's more, there's more plus signs to this than really what meets the eye. But I feel right now you do feel disappointed because... What you saw with this person, it could have actually worked. But the universe is saying that, no, um, you need to sort out your, you know, you need to, um, you know, answer the call. Your soul is calling you. You need to answer it. Okay. You need to answer the call and find out what it is that you need to do because that is more important. And I feel that once you've mastered that energy, then it means then that you'll be able to have 
what you want out of a relationship. It will help to trigger back in this person. If they are really meant to be for you, um, they will definitely come back to you. Okay, because it's destiny. If not, it just means then that they were meant to be your catalyst, your your person for, um, you know, sort of like making that life change experience for yourself. Guys, this is what I've got. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And um, yep, I will be back with another reading. So take care of yourselves, guys. Peace out.